good morning namaste to everyone we have the uh, dipaji nayar who is having dipaji uh, nayar uh, and the, the university coordinator of usb and she is also a professor in civil engineering kochi university of science and technology kochi in kerala uh, she has done a phd in sustainable housing at u dels netherlands she has 4 years of industry experience and 22 years of technical uh, teaching experience as uh, she is associated with usb since in june 2018 uh she has been participating in different projects different activities of uh, this usb as well as she is facilitating many workshops so uh, welcome vital ji over to you thank you bhaiya uh, namaste everyone as tera prabhu bhaiya was mentioning i am working with kochi university since 99 uh, i live in kochi with my husband rajendran he is a mechanical engineer and was working in kuwait for a long period we have two boys achut is elder one he is now working in us after his masters in mechanical engineering enga one is ashwin he just completed his btech in electronics from iit guwahati this year and he is also planning to go to us for higher studies my parents are no more my father was a botany professor and my mother was a teacher uh, i have a younger sister she is living in mumbai with her family my husband's mother is staying with his elder brother in their native place in chatala 45 kilometers from kochi now coming to my association with uhv it started in the year 2018 june uh, with a three day introductory workshop from the very first session i was very much excited by the proposals of uhv and found it very useful for me especially because at that time i was facing a tough situation in my life related to my mother's illness the experience of that 3 day workshop helped me further in taking care of my mother in a better way with much improved clarity in the self but i was not able to continue that explorations uh after that 2018 workshop later in 2020 may i got the opportunity to attend five day online workshop and got connected to uhv again <coughs> after attending this five day online workshop uh, i was attending all the weekly meetings and then i attended the student induction program online student induction program conducted by act and refresher workshops and uh, i am attending this morning session from 2021 september onwards i was able to participate as tara bhaiya was mentioning i was also able to participate as uh, uh, in the student workshops as facilitator and online fdps also and also in offline workshops as co facilitator and observer now coming to my observations and understanding in uhv uh, let me start with the exercises and after that i will come back to the sharing uh, on human being nature and existence uh, with regard to the exercise one observing the self by the self this exercise helps me in improving my awareness i am able to observe my imagination basically on the basis of feelings if it is natural not naturally acceptable to me i am able to see my responsibility and get over complaining about others i can check whether it is either based on assumption or right understanding on the basis of natural feeling i am able to choose right understanding and i can remain comfortable accordingly i can see the need to ensure right understanding with the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence to maintain happiness at every moment even though i am not able to ensure this awareness at every moment sometimes if so, there are some incidents happening in our life i can suddenly recall this and i can come back to that harmony i can observe uh, and also i can observe myself if i pay attention 
for example, if I say when incident which happened recently, uh, yeah, actually it happened last week. One of my cousin, she called me uh, last week. That time I was uh, traveling and was feeling very tired also. Uh, yes, uh, I was traveling back home after a long wait at hospital and I was very tired. My phone was about to get switched off. I thought I will pick up the call and tell her that we may talk later as I'm very tired. But she, immediately uh, when I picked up the call, she started the conversation uh, and said many things. I could observe an opposition feeling from her voice. I also got irritated and reacted in the same manner and cut the phone call without saying anything. But that moment itself, I felt aware about my feeling and thought of correcting my behavior. After reaching home, I charged my phone and called her back. Uh, her husband took the phone. I told him uh, my phone got uh, switched off and I want to talk to her now. She was initially reluctant to pick up the call, but later she picked up the call and we started the conversation. I was able to bring back the harmony in our interaction and told the same thing what I told earlier with a feeling of relationship. She was about to uh, see, she was about to get the meaning what I was uh, talking. And that way I was able to maintain harmony in our relationship. So this is a recent incident. Uh, yeah, if I say something about exercise two, observing the body by the self. This exercise has helped me in improving my responsibility towards my body with clarity, harmony, and feeling of self-regulation. I can see my body and self as two different entities and information between them in the form of sensation. If I pay attention to it, then only I read the sensation and I give instructions to the body. As I can observe the distance between the two and exchange of information, I can also see the existence of space and as well as the submergence of the body and self in space. Let me share my experience regarding the feeling of self-regulation. I am facing some health issues from the start of this year. When I came to know about this, initially I was a bit worried, but that moment itself, I was able to see the need of right understanding and thought of my responsibility towards my body. The first thing is that I was able to distinguish my body and self clearly and see it as a different unit like we see other, uh, another object. This helped me very much in taking the decisions with more clarity Communica communicating with my immediate relatives, especially with my husband and children. As I was very much in harmony, I was talking with confidence. They were also very much relieved and was able to discuss the details of my illness clearly. Also during the treatment, now also I'm undergoing the treatment, I'm able to continue this awareness and maintain the harmony. Regarding uh, sensation and sanskar, I would also like to share my observations. I can observe my behavior as a reflection of my sanskar. Whenever there is a sensation in our body from external environment or interactions with others, we may be reading it on the basis of sanskar. The earlier example which I told about my interaction with my cousin, I can see my initial reaction can be on the basis of my sanskar. Now I'm able to see it, but to uh, make it in a better way, I have to work further. Other sanskars also I am able to, actually I have made a list of it. I'm working on that. Uh, yeah, one, of, one such example, earlier I was very fond of buying new dresses for every occasion. Sometimes even without thinking about any occasions, the online advertisements, I was usually looking on online advertisements for a long time, I was buying the clothes. But for a long time, now I can see the change in myself. It's gradually getting reduced. 
not only in the case of clothes, but with respect to other physical facilities also. I can observe the feeling of prosperity with much clarity than earlier. And also some of the examples related to the sanskars. Earlier when I was having any issue, uh, like any problem with anyone, I was not able to see anything wrong with my behavior and was completely blaming the other person. This was definitely creating issues in my family, especially with my husband. According to him, all the time I'm giving advices and asking him to change his behavior. He used to tell me that you are not a teacher at home, you are my wife and that way you need to talk. Uh, so. But that time, whenever he used to say this, I was not able to observe any such issues in my behavior. But now I am able to see these uh, issues in my behavior and I can correct it. So there is a better harmony in our relationship also. So uh, I need to improve it further. I can see also this as a part of my sanskar and I have to work on it further and shift in my understanding after UHV sessions. I'm not sure how far I am able to see this. With respect to self and body, as I said earlier, uh, with respect to those exercises, I can see the shift, shift very much clearly. But with respect to human contact, uh, I have the clarity of coexistence and also able to see my role in this existence, but I have to work further to make me aware all the time, to make the programs, to show it in my behavior during my interactions with others, making my desire, thought and expectation all the time uh, in line with my natural acceptance, because now I'm not able to see that awareness, uh, but I can, uh, on uh, seeing that, I will be able to change that. But I have to maintain that harmony all the time. Then only I'll be able to uh, ensure my participation all the time. That is not possible now. Uh, uh, all the time it's not possible. But whenever I'm able to read that, I can uh, change my contact uh, continuously. But now I'm not up to that stage. I have to work further on that. And with respect to uh, nature, I can see the improvements. Earlier, I was not able to distinguish all the orders, physical order, bio order, animal order, human order. Yeah, and I was not seeing the interactions between all the orders completely. But now I can see that shift and I can also see my responsibility in my interactions with the three orders. Uh, also, as Tarabaya was saying, my research is more mostly focused on uh, sustainability and my PhD was also on sustainable housing and my research students are working in the utilization of waste materials. Now, my technical uh, expertise as well as my leaving, I can connect mostly and I can relate it with UHV proposals, uh, my research activities also. And existence, I am able to observe the coexistence of every unit in nature, especially in my interactions. Uh, yeah, like the understanding with respect to nature. Uh, the better thing is that uh, after understanding the proposal, this has helped me to develop a feeling of gratitude to all other units around me. And that way, I am able to show more participation in the nature also. Uh, now, the commitments, developing right understanding. At present, honestly speaking, uh, I was not keeping a regular schedule. I am not able to keep a regular schedule for this, but I can see the importance and I would like to invest more time. Uh, so that also I see as a part of my sanskar. Uh, usually, I'm not that systematic, so I have to improve it and I need to make a regular schedule for improving, uh, uh, allotting time for uh, developing myself, developing the right understanding. Present commitments, uh, 
currently i'm uh, for a uh, for a period last six months i'm on leave i'm also holding the responsibility of university coordinator so i have to uh, show it uh, show my responsibility in those activities and also some of the online session i was able to handle the sessions uh, and uh, in a uhp one ftps and also student workshops so weekly meetings I'm attending, but I have to show more responsibility. That's what I feel. Yes. I may request Sarmila Didi to uh, put his suggestion and comments for, on the position. So. Ji. So very nice sharing, Deepaji. Um, Thank you, Didi. Okay. I know that um, you have been um, having a difficult time with the health issues and also uh, I think um, despite that I, I found it very amazing that you could devote the time that you did for your participation and as you mentioned um, when you were participating, it was very useful for you um, for dealing with your day-to-day -day issues. So I think um, I can see that from the time that your first workshop that you did, from then till now, I can see a lot more clarity in terms of you know, the expression also, the expression in your conduct, in your behavior with others, in, as you mentioned, what parents share about you, your interaction with the students. I think uh, a lot has changed. Um, even though earlier also, I think you were able to perhaps connect to the students, but I can see that it seems to be that um, now it is, there is more clarity in this about ensuring your feeling from your side. So it was very nice to hear you. And of course, your commitment, we can see, and I'm sure as your health issues get resolved, you will be able to participate even more. So all the very best of issues. And um, going further, I think as you are able to spend more time, um, of course, these steps, even though we may be able to see some of the sanskars, even though we may be able to um, see the feeling and try to ensure the feeling as you mentioned that staying aware every moment that can be a challenge at times but as we keep working towards um, this goal and as we keep working on the exercises uh, it is certainly possible as you yourself have mentioned the changes um, so all the very best. Good morning, namaste to everyone. We have the uh, Dipaji Nair who is sharing. Dipaji uh, Nair, uh, the university coordinator of USB, and she is also a professor in civil engineering, Kuchin University of Science and Technology, Kuchin Kerala. Uh, she has done a PhD in sustainable housing at EU Dels, Netherlands. She has four years of industry experience and 22 years of technic, uh, teaching experience. Uh, she is associated with USB since uh, June 2018. Uh, she has been participating in different projects, different activities of uh, this USB, as well as she is facilitating many workshops. So, uh, welcome, Vitaldi. Over to you. Thank you, Bhaiya. Uh, namaste, everyone. Uh, 
as Tara Prinsnabaya was mentioning, I'm working with Cochin University since 99. Uh, I live in Cochin with my husband, Rajendran. He's a mechanical engineer and was working in Kuwait for a long period. We have two boys. Achyut is elder one. He is now working in US after his master's in mechanical engineering. Younger one is Ashwin. He just completed his B.Tech in electronics from IIT Guwahati this year, and he is also planning to go to US for higher studies. My parents are no more. My father was a botany professor, and my mother was a teacher. Uh, I have a younger sister. She is living in Mumbai with her family. My husband's mother is staying with his elder brother in their native place in Chaitala, 45 kilometers from Cochin. Now coming to my association with UHV, it started in the year 2018, June, uh, with a three-day introductory workshop. From the very first session, I was very much excited by the proposals of UHV and found it very useful for me, especially because at that time, I was facing a tough situation in my life related to my mother's illness. The experience of that three-day workshop helped me further in taking care of my mother in a better way with much improved clarity in the self. But I was not able to continue that explorations uh, after that 2018 workshop. Later in 2020 May, I got the opportunity to attend five-day online workshop and got connected to UHV again. <coughs> After attending this five-day online workshop, uh, I was attending all the weekly meetings, and then I attended the student induction program, online student induction program conducted by ACTE and refresher workshops. And uh, I'm attending this morning session from 2021 September onwards. I was able to participate, as Tarabaya was mentioning, I was also able to participate as uh, uh, in the student workshops as facilitator and online FTPs also, and also in offline workshops as co-facilitator and observer. Now coming to my observations and understanding in UHV, uh, let me start with the exercises and after that I will come back to the sharing uh, on human being, nature, and existence. Uh, with regard to the exercise one, observing the self by the self, this exercise helps me in improving my awareness. I am able to observe my imagination, basically on the basis of feelings. If it is natur not naturally acceptable to me, I am able to see my responsibility and get over complaining about others. I can check whether it is either based on assumption or right understanding. On the basis of natural feeling, I'm able to choose right understanding and I can remain comfortable. Accordingly, I can see the need to ensure right understanding with the feeling of relationship, harmony, and coexistence to maintain happiness at every moment. Even though I'm not able to ensure this awareness at every moment, Sometimes, if, so, if there are some incidents happening in our life, I can suddenly recall this and I can come back to that harmony. I can observe uh, and also I can observe myself if I pay attention. Uh, for example, if I say an incident which happened recently, uh, yeah, actually it happened last week. One of my cousin, she called me uh, last week. That time I was uh, traveling and was feeling very tired also. Uh, yes, uh, I was traveling back home after a long wait at hospital and I was very tired. My phone was about to get switched off. I thought I will pick up the call and tell her that we may talk later as I'm very tired. But she, immediately uh, when I picked up the call, she started the conversation uh, and said many things. I could observe an opposition feeling from her voice. I also got irritated and reacted in the same manner and cut the phone call without saying anything. But that moment itself, I felt aware about my feeling and thought of correcting my behavior. After reaching home, I charged my phone and called her back. 
her husband took the phone. I told him uh, my phone got uh, switched off and I want to talk to her now. She was initially reluctant to pick up the call, but later she picked up the call and we started the conversation. I was able to bring back the harmony in our interaction and told the same thing what I told earlier with a feeling of relationship. She was about to uh, see, she was about to get the meaning what I was uh, talking. And that way I was able to maintain harmony in our relationship. So this is a recent incident. Uh, yeah, if I say something about exercise two, observing the body by the self, this exercise has helped me in improving my responsibility towards my body with clarity, harmony, and feeling of self-regulation. I can see my body and self as two different entities and information between them in the form of sensation. If I pay attention to it, then only I read the sensation and I give instructions to the body. As I can observe the distance between the two and exchange of information, I can also see the existence of space and as well as the submergence of the body and self in space. Let me share my experience regarding the feeling of self-regulation. I am facing some health issues from the start of this year. When I came to know about this, initially I was a bit worried, but that moment itself, I was able to see the need of right understanding and thought of my responsibility towards my body. The first thing is that I was able to distinguish my body and self clearly and see it as a different unit like we see other, uh, another object. This helped me very much in taking the decisions with more clarity, communica communicating with my immediate relatives, especially with my husband and children. As I was very much in harmony, I was talking with confidence. They were also very much relieved and was able to discuss the details of my illness clearly. Also during the treatment, now also I'm undergoing the treatment. I am able to continue this awareness and maintain the harmony. Regarding uh, sensation and sanskar, I would also like to share my observations. I can observe my behavior as a reflection of my sanskar. Whenever there is a sensation in our body from external environment or interactions with others, we may be reading it on the basis of sanskar. The earlier example which I told about my interaction with my cousin, I can see my initial reaction can be on the basis of my sanskar. Now I'm able to see it, but to uh, make it in a better way, I have to work further. Other sanskars also I am able to, actually I have made a list of it. I'm working on that. Uh, yeah, one, of, one such example, earlier I was very fond of buying new dresses for every occasion. Sometimes, even without thinking about any occasions, the online advertisements, I was usually looking on online advertisements for a long time. I was buying the clothes. But for a long time, now I can see the change in myself. It's gradually getting reduced. Not only in the case of clothes, but with respect to other physical facilities also. I can observe the feeling of prosperity with much clarity than earlier and also some of the examples related to the sanskars earlier when i was having any issue uh, like any problem with anyone i was not able to see anything wrong with my behavior and was completely blaming the other person this was definitely creating issues in my family especially with my husband according to him all the time, I'm giving advices and asking him to change his behavior. He used to tell me that you are not a teacher at home. You are my wife and that way you need to talk. Uh, so, uh, but that time, whenever he used to say this, I was not able to observe any such issues in my behavior. But now I am able to see these uh, issues in my behavior and 
i can correct it so there is a better harmony in our relationship also so uh, i need to improve it further i can see also this as a part of my sanskar and i have to work on it further and shift in my understanding after uhv sessions i'm not sure how far i am able to see this with respect to self and body as i said earlier uh, with respect to those exercises i can see the shift shift very much clearly but with respect to human contact uh, i have the clarity of coexistence and also able to see my role in this existence but i have to work further to make me aware all the time to make the programs to show it in my behavior during my interactions with others making my desire thought and expectation all the time uh, in line with my natural acceptance because now i am not able to see that awareness uh, but i can uh, on uh, seeing that i will be able to change that but i have to maintain that harmony all the time then only i'll be able to uh, ensure my participation all the time that is not possible now uh, uh, all the time it's not possible but whenever i am able to read that i can uh, change my contact Uh, continuously but now i'm not up to that stage i have to work further on that and with respect to uh, nature i can see the improvements earlier i was not able to distinguish all the orders physical order bio order animal order human order uh, and i was not seeing the interactions between all the orders completely but now i can see that ship and i can also see my responsibility in my interactions with the three orders uh, also as tarabaya was saying my research is mostly focused on uh, sustainability and my phd was also on sustainable housing and my research students are working in the utilization of waste materials now my technical uh, expertise as well as my living i can connect mostly and i can relate it with uhv proposals uh, my research activities also and existence i am able to observe the coexistence of every unit in nature especially in my interactions uh, yeah like the understanding with respect to nature uh, the better thing is that uh, Uh, after understanding the proposal this has helped me to develop a feeling of gratitude to all other units around me and that way i am able to show more participation in the nature also uh, now the commitments developing right understanding at present honestly speaking uh, i was not keeping a regular schedule i am not able to keep a regular schedule for this but i can see the importance and i would like to invest more time uh, so that also i see as a part of my sanskar uh, usually i am not that systematic so i have to improve it and i need to make a regular schedule for improving uh, uh, allotting time for uh, developing myself developing the right understanding present commitments uh, Uh, currently i am uh, for a uh, for a period last 6 months i am on leave i am also holding the responsibility of university coordinator so i have to uh, show it uh, show my responsibility in those activities and also some of the online session i was able to handle the sessions uh, and uh, in a uhp one ftps and also student workshops so weekly meetings i am attending but i have to show more responsibility that's what i feel yes i may request sarmila didi to uh, put his suggestion and comments for on the presentation ji so very nice sharing deepa ji um thank you didi okay i know that um, you have been um, 
having a difficult time with the health issues and also uh, I think um, despite that I, I found it very amazing that you could devote the time that you did for your participation and as you mentioned um, when you were participating it was very useful for you um, for dealing with your day-to-day -day issues. So I think um, I can see that from the time that your first workshop that you did from then till now, I can see a lot more clarity in terms of you know, the expression also, the expression in your conduct in your behavior with others, in as you mentioned, what parents share about you, your interaction with the students. I think uh, a lot has changed. Um, even though earlier also, I think you were able to perhaps connect to the students, but I can see that it seems to be that um now it is there is more clarity in this about ensuring your feeling from your side so it was very nice to hear you and of course your commitment we can see and i'm sure as your health issues get resolved you will be able to participate even more so all the very best of issues and um, going further, I think as you are able to spend more time, um, of course, these steps, even though we may be able to see some of the sanskars, even though we may be able to um, see the feeling and try to ensure the feeling, as you mentioned, that staying aware every moment, that can be a challenge at times. But as we keep working towards um, this goal, and as we keep working on the exercises, uh, it is certainly possible, as you yourself have mentioned, the changes. Um, so all the very best. <laughs>